Okay, I found pretty interesting 2500K. Uh, it could do like 5.2 to 5.3 at just 1.35 volts, which is very good for normal use on water cooling. And now I will try to demo for you guys 5.5 gigahertz all core test, like in W prime with uh, nearly max on the memory as well, like with uh, maximum on the memory because sometimes too high memory might harm the maximum CPU overclock. So close to 2260 on the memory, second highest multiplier. Max is a bit under 2300 uh, for this CPU. So uh, internal PLL over voltage memory is uh, LP to BBSE. These are the best BBSE sticks I've ever had. They are purchased from Giggles from Germany. So 696, 22 common rate one and pretty tight on the sub timings as well. This one, or this part nearly all set to the max. VRM uh, maxed out pretty much, so max on the MOSFET volt. Low line calibration is 100%, which gives pretty flat V core. 75% gives a bit of V droop under load, and 100% gives roughly the same value under load as at idle. Switching frequency is set and everything. And uh, the lowest I actually managed to pass, W Prime 32, was 1.45 volts, but it's uh, flaky, it can crash if you have, let's say, CPU Z open at the same time. So I think 1.48 should do it, but I have pretty, uh, like, uh, just very quick and dirty cooling solution on the CPU. So water block, but only two, uh, like, thumb nuts are being used to tighten the block down and just a GD900, so very cheap thermal paste from China. As I was just quick testing the CPU. 1.85 volts on the memory and 1.32 on the VCCSA slash IO. You need to enable extreme voltage mode to go uh, this high on the memory and this high on the VCCSA. So that's pretty much it and temperature plus 32. So this is water cooling. So let's try 1.48. Okay, so the lowest voltage I actually managed to boot into the operating system at 5.5 was uh, only 1.4 volts. So that's a pretty interesting result for uh, uh, any Sandy Bridge CPU. The, uh, like I said, the cooling uh, isn't the best possible at the moment. So uh, I, I would uh, be able to get some temperatures off if I used uh, all of the mounting screws or the thumb nuts and a proper thermal paste instead of GD900. Now uh, the lowest voltage I managed to pass W prime 32 was 1.45 with 75% uh, load line calibration. So this will probably go up to 1.5, maybe a touch over the set value on the load. So it measures 1.5. Even at 1.5, it's still uh, phenomenally good, if you ask me. So we could try to run 1024M, see how it goes, what are the temperatures. I'm pretty sure I never ran this high on any Sandy Bridge CPU, at least with this low voltage. Okay, we managed to pass. This is probably the lowest voltage for this uh, frequency pretty much but it's pretty interesting if you ask me so maximus for extreme z miles 1004 and memory 2260 almost 696 2260 common rate one and these are g skill rip jaws x 2200 999 lp bbse sadly it's pretty certain this CPU will not be anywhere near capable for top scores because the maximum multiplier I was able to test on ambient cooling was 56 and it's not enough. You need a CPU that can do the max multiplier 59 and it's the same thing at least based on my experience. You cannot just uh, use one notch lower multiplier and use the base clock. It will just hit uh, the same uh, limit. So. Uh, this CPU 
doesn't seem good for cold testing, but it's definitely an interesting CPU for ambient, like overclocking and testing. So would be like a dream CPU for some daily user back in the day in 2011 or 2012. That's how I see the CPU right now. But yeah, just wanted to show this uh, interesting 2500K very briefly to you guys. So uh, it's pretty much it. So give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching one of my videos once again. And I will see you on the next one.